So the Osseo Striga Catalyst. Would I recommend you getting it? The answer is and always will be a definite yes. It is exceptionally good at the moment, so good in fact that the gun does make a lot of activities boringly easy. But it is still a great gun that feels great to shoot, it has its own identity, it is one of the most unique primaries, one of the most unique exotics that are in the game that have ever been in the game. It is, however, overwhelmingly good like I said. You see here with the catalyst, not only do you cause poison damage that spreads on enemy deaths, your poison final blows will return ammo to the magazine, essentially overflowing it. The highest number I've been able to get inside my magazine was 108 shots, which was as ridiculous as it sounds. And the Osseo is basically a melting machine. Once you get the burn onto any of the bosses, strike bosses, any of the champions, it is an SMG so you can run it with overload and you can continuously stun with the poison. Even if you are not currently shooting the overload champion, the poison will continue to burn through him. I've killed multiple strike bosses at the point where I will stop shooting with Osteo at half health or maybe 40% health and they will still tick out. It is insanely powerful. So powerful in fact that it can get to points where you don't have to switch off of your primary. You can just have the Osteo the entire time and use that just for ad clearing, for champion clearing, for boss clearing, for all of the things. With the new void subclasses, you don't really need to switch into any crazy power weapon, crazy energy weapon. You can literally just throw some nades, use a super osteo, and burn just about every single boss in the game at the moment. So as far as that, I would recommend bringing the osteo in with you. If you plan on participating in the day one raid, for sure, you're going to need all of the help you can get in order to try the day one completion. So if you don't have the osteo in the catalyst, I would really consider getting them both, especially if you're planning on taking on any of the difficult content and feel like you have always struggled or feel like you're going to struggle, I would recommend that get as much help as you possibly can in order to get those things done that's going to be all i have for this one so thank you for watching please consider subscribing or leaving a like and a comment on this and i'll catch you in the next video